In Barbados, the government of Venezuela and sectors of the opposition signed a partial agreement to guarantee the well-being of the Venezuelan people and uh, the political uh, conversions. Uh, these agreements uh, take place within the framework of the resumption of the dialogues between the Venezuelan government and the so-called uh, United Platform. It is about uh, the signing of two political agreements with the objective of guaranteeing and the undersigning and the peace of the nation as well as rejecting any form of violence and actions that offend against the sovereignty of the country. We have signed these agreements on a day that I do not hesitate to call historic because it is the first step on the road in the desire that all Venezuelans have that the sanctions, real people killing bombs against our people, that the unjustified aggressions that affect especially the most vulnerable, that affect our children our grandparents, our women, those sanctions that have attacked us socially, economically, in our lives, in the daily life of each one of us, be progressively lifted. This is the first step of a much broader agreement that is in full evolution of its construction and implementation. Likewise, the head of the Venezuelan government delegation, Jorge Rodriguez, stated that with the signing of these agreements, both parties are also committing the to peace in the country. It is auspicious to say that those who in the past called for violence, called for sanctions, called for activities outside the book of all, which is the constitution, are today signing with us a partial agreement where we all commit ourselves for peace, where we all commit ourselves to build a climate of political tolerance. We are also commit ourselves to respect the constitution of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, to respect the electoral laws, to respect the electoral power, the National Electoral Council that was recently chosen by consensus for the National Assembly we all commit ourselves to respect the electoral results and we all commit ourselves to settle our political and social issues by the only way that this constitution establishes as legitimate, legal and efficient. For his part, the head of the delegation of the United Platform of Venezuela, Gerardo Blade, affirmed that the signing of the agreements contributes to the construction of a better country. Es un paso más. It is one more step on the road, an important one. All Venezuelans who aspire and want to change, we must build and we must contribute with the materialization that is being signed today and be together in every voting center, in every town, in every city of the country, watching vigilantly to guarantee that the will of each one of us is respected and fulfilled. The negotiation process is not paralyzed. The negotiation process continues within the framework of the Memorandum of Understanding we signed in Mexico City to develop the entire agenda contained in that Memorandum of Understanding. It is the route to achieve the well-being of the Venezuelan people, an inclusive democracy, and a culture of tolerance and political coexistence. In this regard, Gerardo Blade thanks the international community for participating in the dialogue and the government of Barbados for hosting the meeting this Tuesday. We are grateful for the facilitation that the Kingdom of Norway has provided and will continue to provide for this process. We are grateful for the support and accompaniment of our international allies and the entire international community because it is very important for us, Venezuelans, to maintain this common effort and to make history by building a future together. We also thank the government of Barbados for having been our host for the signing of this agreement. Meanwhile, the facilitator of the Kingdom of Norway, Draga Nylander, congratulated the commitment of the parties involved for the satisfactory development of the dialogue. I am hopeful that the agreements to be signed today will contribute to what the parties have agreed as the central objective of this process, clear rules for political and social coexistence in Venezuela.
In that sense, I would like to congratulate the members of the two delegations for their commitment to this process. In particular, I would like to highlight the efforts of the two heads of delegation, Jorge Rodriguez and Gerardo Blyde. Although overcoming polarization and confrontation may be an arduous task, the will demonstrated by the two parties in recent weeks illustrates what can be achieved when all are united for the well-being of the Venezuelan people.